Hi, my name is Woo Jae Sung, an architect and an educator uh, based in Seoul, Korea. Um, I'm very interested in utilizing digital technologies in architectural design and construction. Um, currently, I'm teaching at Chungnam National University and also running my own practice as a PNDA. Before returning to Seoul uh, to start my own practice and teaching, I worked for Grimshaw Architects, Shop Architects, and OMA, where I picked up uh, various digital techniques, methodologies, and approaches uh, to design a wide range of uh, beautiful buildings. SAPND stands for uh, three areas of digital applications, uh, for instance, in architecture, products, and design automation. I've got so many questions about it, uh, its name so far, uh, so I'll let you figure out by yourself if you will. But uh, if you like the strange sense of naming, uh, please visit our website at sapnd.com slash about to find out more. Anyways, we have been challenging the way how we design buildings and things uh, through digital techniques such as parametric tools, coding, and uh, scripting. Our works range from uh, building scales down to installations or uh, products and also design algorithms for architects and designers. For instance, uh, we wrapped up a grandstand building uh, for horse racing track in Yongcheon, Korea, uh, which is currently under construction. Uh, we also designed a series of small-scale installations inspired by nature's algorithms, for instance, uh, diffusion-limited aggregation systems, uh, parts to hold relationships, etc. And recently, uh, we have started rolling out a series of grasshopper plugins to help um, architects design their product um, creatively and effortlessly at the same time. Um, with our automation tools, however, uh, I think the ultimate goal is not just providing tools, um, but proposing a better way of designing uh, through the digital tools we invent. A new design process that fits the new era, I would like to emphasize. Uh, right before uh, being approached by Stelsi, uh, we were actually wrapping up the modular tree search plugin uh, for Grasshopper. The plugin simply calculates many design alternatives of stacking modular building blocks on a given site uh, with some design parameters and site specific constraints. It calculates the result in real time, uh, so architects or engineers can test out as many alternatives as they want in a very short period of time. Apparently, the plugin was originally written for the real-world design applications, but I thought uh, this could be an interesting application uh, for the virtual world as well, uh, because in there, we don't have to deal with gravity or some other limitations that kill uh, creativity from time to time. I designed two buildings on the island, uh, more specifically, uh, I took the modular tree search plugin uh, we developed uh, for the real world application um, and modified it uh, for the virtual environment uh, to populate the experimental building forms on the island. Um, however, uh, as you probably can guess, designing something uh, in the middle of nowhere uh, from scratch uh, without any constraints or design requirement was just like out of blue. Uh, so I had to come up with an alternative way of occupying or reclaiming spaces, which should be different from that of the real world. So in my case, um, I borrowed the idea from the snakes, uh, for instance, how they move their body parts around uh, to make stable postures uh, in various physical surroundings. From an architect's perspective, uh, Stelzi is a perfect platform for architects and designers uh, to realize their works. It is too early to tell before even trying out the island, but it will be much nicer uh, if updating building geometries or design on the island um, is easy and flexible, uh, so the island becomes a platform for design and lifestyle transactions. As briefly mentioned earlier, uh, we wanted to come up with a brand new way of occupying spaces for the virtual environment. Apparently, uh, the inspiration came from snakes, uh, more specifically uh, how they move their body parts around uh, to set a stable posture no matter where they are. So uh, we found four unique body behaviors uh, in their posture. Uh, for instance, uh, straight, turn, uh, hairpin, and secane. 
By mixing and matching the four goals, um, snakes can sit comfortably under any circumstances. Then we translate the four into uh, mathematical rules in Grasshopper, uh, calling them uh, space filling rules. And another key difference uh, from the real world uh, is the lack of constraint. Uh, real world constraints uh, typically work uh, as restrictive factors in design. Uh, however, as we don't have such a thing in the virtual world, uh, we initially enjoyed the limitless design freedom. But soon after, uh, we realized that the total freedom doesn't necessarily bring us good design. And then it was really hard to draw an arbitrary line uh, when there was nothing. So we started generating constraints, um, calling them uh, influential geometries. And uh, this turns the constraints uh, into design variables. Uh, you can imagine that you create a bunch of tree branches um, for the snakes to curl up and above. Um, then the space filling rules let the snake navigate uh, through and find their spot on the three branches. Mathematically, uh, this translates into uh, building modules, uh, finding their best position among the influential uh, geometries by the space filling rules. In navigating through uh, the influential geometries, uh, we used a uh, tree search greedy algorithm uh, to optimize the building uh, locally. Uh, for the building scans, uh, we developed uh, two alternatives uh, mimicking the natural systems. Uh, for instance, one of the facade skin uh, is made out of tapering geometries, uh, which is a uh, mathematical interpretation of animal form. And uh, we also used uh, simple uh, trigonometric functions to reproduce the natural movement of uh, wind-blown uh, form. Uh, I desperately want to know, uh, please let me know if you have any better idea. Uh, but um, uh, overall, I think the life in the future uh, will be much simpler um, on the surface. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the supporting technology will get uh, more and more complicated in the future. Welcome to Cersei. Hola.